Sai Baba on the ascension process at this time. I am here today to explain something to you about what is happening on our planet at this time. Times is accelerating and more people are on the path of spiritual awakening than ever before. The Ascended Masters have been given certain dispensations in how they train, teach and get more people involved in this spiritual awakening. These people need guidance and teachers. This guidance and teaching is hard to come by these days. With all the energy changes and special dispensations much has changed in the way of how to guide and teach. I am fully aware of all teachings that are here on earth right now. Believe me I have been on earth long enough to see the effectiveness of these teachings. Yes, there have been waves of people ascending with these teachings. But at this moment only less than 1% of the world population has ascended. If we go on at this rate and with these teachings that were available, we might reach a full 1% by the end of 2012. At this moment we have about 10% of the whole world population really on the path toward ascension. Yes, there are many more light workers out there, but they are still not even at the beginning step of the path toward ascension. Many of them are working on their own, not receiving the right guidance and teachings needed to get even through the first initiations. All well-established schools are teaching what they have taught for a long time and do not look for any newer teachings. Many people only read what is coming out and do not become involved or feel the need to get involved with new teachings. Less than 0.01% of the people on earth has actually heard the so-called clarion call at this time and followed it. All the others are still following blindly the teachers that have been teaching for a long time and or have passed on, that have not been able to change their way of teachings because they do not feel the need to change anything that is well established. All the older teachings are written down and available, but this is not what teaching is about. The only way to teach in an expedited way is to have people experience the teachings. You can study as many books as long as you want but it does not give you the experience you need. Yes, you can do the exercises that are described in many of the books, but some of them are not even necessary anymore and some have changed in a way that makes it more simple and easier for people to access. Reading these books is great for background knowledge and information, but remember that all information out there is being updated at a rapid speed. Experiences from people that have taught 20, 10, or even five years ago, are vastly different than the experiences from people one year or even one month ago. If these teachers do not adjust their teachings on a regular base, then their teachings will be somewhat outdated at this moment and in the future. Now many of the new teachings are coming in through people that have been able to grow and connect in such a way that they are able to receive new teachings. And not only that, they are able to update their teachings at all times. The Ascended Masters only have these channels to rely upon since there are not many people out there that have been able to get to this point of receiving and actually teaching. Now I do understand that it is not easy to actually put your trust in any of the new teachings. They are not well established, you have never heard of them, or you have heard about them but not enough to trust them. A lot of times I also see that even though most people want to work toward ascension, they do not have the dedication it requires. Some people expect miracles to happen once they start and get disappointed when they do not see results happen immediately. Just a couple of reasons why still at this point our prediction of 10% of people actually ascending before or in 2012 is what we hope for, it's not what we see happening. And then we get to another point. Many of you expect it to just happen. 2012 is an important year and many people have the idea that the heavens will open and they will ascend. There is no need to do anything, you have to stay up to date, take a couple of classes, read some messages and books and you are there. This is where many go wrong. The process toward ascension is a full-time learning and experience process. You have to live what you have learned and follow through with what you know. This takes more than a couple of classes and books. Yes, you can do all this by yourself without any help from others, and there are people capable of that. 
all it requires is to be able to receive that inner guidance fully and completely. But not many people at this time are capable of receiving this guidance from the higher self, soul, and monad. If I have to say it in a percentage, out of 1000 people between 5 and 10 are capable of receiving this inner guidance partly or fully. So what happens next? You find the right teacher. How do you find the right teacher? Find a teacher that is capable of bringing out informative messages that are straight to the point. A teacher that is capable of teaching through experience instead of only giving you the answers. A good teacher will lead you toward acquiring the knowledge yourself through experience. Find a teacher that is connected to many of the ascended masters, not just one or two. Every ascended master has certain aspects to teach, they are never teaching all. It is a combined effort from all the ascended masters, not just one. Once you have found this teacher, all you need is dedication. Be patient and do not expect miracles, everything takes time. Time to integrate the new energies, new knowledge, new experiences. Patience is a virtue and this is what you need to succeed together with your dedication toward yourself and your ascension. Be aware and stay open and informed with the new information that is coming out. This will bring you the background knowledge to support your experiences. Now the next thing I would like to point out is the unity amongst light workers. I do not see it at this time unless among small, very small groups. A good friend of mine just rewrote his golden keys to achieve ascension in this lifetime. One of them is, give up all attack thoughts. Be aware of them and release them. They only undermine yourself, not others. Unity means everyone is part of the all, no one is separate, no matter what they do or how they do it. There is never a right or wrong. This type of thinking is part of the duality consciousness in the third dimension. And I would like this to be the first lesson toward ascension. The release of duality thinking. It is everywhere, and yes it is still among light workers, or spiritual people, or whatever other names you can find for yourself. Release all thought of attack. Release duality thinking. Now the last point I would like to mention here, and this is connected to duality thinking in many ways, is money. Most duality thoughts are, other people have more money, I have nothing, I deserve more money, they get it, I do not get it. This is part of duality thinking and yes it does a good job keeping you in the third dimensional reality. Now you know the law of attraction, the secret and many more of those teachings. They say you have to believe it fully, just think you have it and it will appear. And still it is not working for many. Why not? because they leave out an important part. Let the universe take care of you. This is where your belief should be. It is not, I deserve this, no, it is let the universe decide what you deserve. I deserve is part of the third dimensional thinking. Or if and when you feel guided to take classes, buy that book, and you think I cannot afford it, I deserve this, but others can afford it and I cannot. This is duality thinking. The universe has brought these classes to your attention, and now it is asking you to take the first step. This means take the class, buy the book or whatever else the universe brings to you. This does not mean you wait and see if the universe provides you with the money. This is not taking the first step. The universe needs a commitment, not just thoughts, there is an action needed here by you. So this step can be sign up and pay for the class and this is the preferred action. But if you do not feel comfortable yet, approach the teacher, explain your situation. Do not ask for a free class, it as an insult to the teacher that is providing the time and energy. Tell the teacher what you think you can afford and look inside yourself to see what it is worth to you to receive the teachings. And I do see this happening many times, people expect everything for free since people have to feel sorry for them because they do not have the money and think they never will. Snap out of that. Take a chance and let the universe provide. Buy that book, take that class, or anything else that comes into your life. 
do not have any expectation in how the universe will provide, just let the universe provide and know it will be in a perfect and divine way. Consider this one of your exercises and experiences on your path toward ascension. A very important one. A step toward freedom, a step out of the third dimensional duality thinking. Sri Ram Sai Baba Thank you.